Shout out BG, Brian Garden on the shirts. Loyalty is royalty. Link will be in the description. Mess with my dog. What up, dog? You already know how it goes. Smash, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you comment. As long as you comment, make sure you check me out on that B hub. Yeah. Check me out on that joint. You feel me? I'm going to take y'all all my videos that I upload and now they old, but we're going to get up to the new. I had to share some of the nights I be having with y'all, man, and it's about to get even crazy. You feel me? The, 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 the more I win, the more I get up, the more I associate. Whoa, y'all going to see some stuff you ain't never seen before. You feel me? Pause. Um, But never the less. Let's talk. Let's talk. I want to tell y'all the craziest things I've seen in the drug game. And when I was in the drug game, I indulged in what some would call the pimp game. But I don't call myself a pimp. I call myself more of a manager because I don't, I'm not going to sit up here and beat you upside your head for your money or take all your money and stuff like that. None of that stuff. I don't want, that's too much. I just want you to help me get what I got going off. And then I want a little bit of the money for the protection tip. You feel me? Just a little bit of money for the protection tip. So, when I was younger, I started learning about organized crime from Bebe G, God rest his soul. He was um, an individual tormented by demons, but he was killed on Southwest. He brought GDs to um, Vinewood area, um, Vinewood, McGraw area. He he made a stamp with the 7400 guys, 7414 guy. You feel? That was Bebe G. He started teaching me about organized crime. And when we got the, the aspect of it, we used to terrorize the straw y'all know what the straw is if you know what you if you know you know okay if you don't know go google it okay so it's a lot of women out there at this particular time war area um pangry uh area hazelwood west grand boulevard what's considered the midtown area right or close to it so um if they wasn't buying from us we would you can't work go somewhere else we don't care who you tell you come back up here you ain't him going you know so we put the squeeze down on that so that's where i learned that from where i go if i wanted to be territorial i could but i usually don't because i'm getting money another way you know what i'm saying but i want to tell y'all the craziest stuff that i've seen in this game because dealing with women who um into that trade life you know what i'm talking about that come with it and then you see how much money they make and you want to keep them making money because the more they make, the more they're going to spend with you. I promise you that. But the craziest stuff I've seen in this life, I'm going to tell you um, one, one, one instance, right? Th this might be the craziest thing, and I almost caught a case over it. I'm not going to get into detail about it or nothing like that. I don't want to seem like a horrible person. Um, but I, I put my hands on somebody one day, two people, a man, and I, unfortunately... A woman. I grabbed, him, grabbed her up and put my hands, and I put my hands on him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I was doing my thing with the H and the um C. Right, and I'm bumping. I'm bumping at this time. I'm bumping. Everybody know me. Even now, people be like, I go somewhere, right? I chill with somebody that's like, you know, in the hood. They might be hustling, a female or something like that. I might be in a room with them, just chilling, because you know they my old friends or something like that. And they and they be so surprised that every junkie know me. Like I go to the, to a hotel room, like, oh, oh yeah, I know you from all. Oh, they know me. All the all the ones to get money, they know me. So one day this lady. Brings me her daughter. A white lady bring me her daughter. Say, hey, let me hold this. And you can keep my daughter. And her eyes got big. Like, yeah, you can keep my daughter. I said, keep your daughter. What do you mean by that? Keep my daughter. Just, I'll bring it back. And that's the interest. Her boyfriend. Yeah, 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 yeah. That didn't end well. That didn't end well with me. Keep your daughter? This girl was like eight, nine years old. You put your daughter off? Try to... I could see if she was 35 or something. Hey, you want to keep my daughter? Hey, yeah, I might just take her. <laughs> you feel me? You put an eight, that. 
I tripped out. I tripped out. I ain't gonna lie. I tripped all the way out, and I was drinking. And when that drink in me, boy, ain't no telling who I might become. That's why I don't even go hard as I used to, for real, for real. Cause it's no telling who I might become that night. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm the wrong person that want to feel just. I'm the wrong person you want to feel justified to do anything to you. Because I start putting planting it in my head, justifying my actions. So that's one of the craziest things I ever ever seen. That right there, that I seen a daughter and a mom working together, three company. I gotta watch what I say. I want the monetization on this. You feel me? Three's company. I seen a daughter and a mother, real mother. Did you hear me? Real mother working together. I'm like. But I, I I really love those two people. I'm not going to say their name, but I really love those two people. They was really, really good to me. You feel me? Really, really good to me. Always, hey, you hungry? I know you, oh, man, I seen you. Well, you get in late. You ain't got no girl. You ain't got, you ain't, you know, the girls you be having over, they be leaving right away. I be seeing it. You know, I be, I be watching because we was all in the same hotel room. Huh, you want some greens? You want some, you want some steak? You want this and that? Free of charge. Hey, come chill with us. You feel me? I'm going to spend a little money. Just I love them. But it was daughter and mama doing things with each other. Daughter and mama. Daughter and mama. Now, this one chick, she wasn't on anything or nothing like that, but we were just cool or whatever. And one night, she had a little marijuana, a little drink. Guess what she did? She started pulling things on me out in front of her mother. Mom, get out the room. Her mom say, oh, it ain't nothing I ain't never seen before. What? Y'all be freaking like this? And the game is crazy. I had a one guy, man, and, and, and we still cool to this day. Um, He'll be out the penitentiary soon. He had to take a little plea to, uh, I think, like two and a half years. But he ended up getting in the riot, then getting two more years for a sight in a riot in the cafeteria. Yeah. He tried to pay me to put um, a, a half B. If you, don't know, if you know, you know. If you don't know what a half B, Bricky, is, go look it up. Because if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, I want the monetization on this joint, so I gotta watch my words. So that's why I'm giving y'all cold words and stuff like that. But if you know, you know. He tried to pay me to put a half B and a gun in somebody's car while I was talking to him. This chick had a dude who was a, a pimp. He was getting all the money. He was taking all his customers. He had just as good a product as him, so on and so forth. So they had a little discrepancies. Bro come to me like, I got a thousand dollars. I want you to put this in dude car. And and no, I didn't chill with dude like that. Me and him was cool, but me and his girl used to chill. She used to call me um best friend or whatever. And we, it was pretty cool. I don't know if we was really best friends, but we was pretty cool. Whatever. We used to sit in a hotel. I come out my room to smoke. She come out her room to smoke. We used to chill in her boyfriend's car. So he wanted me to put it in the car. And mess with the license plate. Put a little smudge on it. So he could get uh, pulled over. They was going to call. And when you get pulled over. You got the license plate. And somebody called on you. Now we got reasonable calls to search your car. They will find a gun. And a half B. Come on. They will find a gun. And I told you I'm just out and about. You feel me? I'm just out and about. They would find a gun and have be. He wanted me to put it in his car. Dude, I think was already like a third of bitch. Well, already did like two five-year bits, two-year bit. He did, no, he did two-year bit. Then did a five-year bit for the second gun. Then he did five for dope. Then he did like three for attempted uh, manufacturing and delivery. He wanted me to put it in his car. That's something, that, and he was, he was so adamant about it. He was so mad when I wouldn't do it because... Even though he was willing to pay me, in my head, I'm like, I've always been one of them type of people that 
I feel bad for what I do. Even the wrong that I do, I always felt bad for it, so I just couldn't do it to him. But he ended up having it happen, and I still kind of feel bad to this day. Like, I could write him and tell him, tell his lawyer that I know the dude set him up, but it's like, do you really want to get caught up in the legal process and all that stuff? And you really want to tell on somebody else, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, damn. I don't know what should I do. And uh, over over time, I, I, I got over it. I always felt bad about it when I thought about it. But me telling y'all that bring up the memories and kind of change my mood a little bit because I do feel bad. I know another guy in prison. This dude put a half B in a gun in his car. Messed up. I'm going to tell y'all the story on um, a Joy Roll guy too. And a lot of people have vouched for that. Y'all going to see it in the comments and whatnot. A lot of people going to vouch for what I said about him. He's working with the police. For real, for real, for real. Um, and the other craziest thing I seen, I was talking to a guy. He was telling me about how to do what I do. How to verify somebody real or fake. He was telling me the laws about this shit. He was telling me. So I'm soaking it all up. He's like, you want some real money? He's like... You need to get you a transgender. You need to get you a gay thug. You need to get you somebody around 15 years old. So he told me. And then later on, I go to see what he was doing and how much money he was making. He was making seven, eight thousand dollars a day profit. Not, not even including what he was making off the drugs, selling it to him. I'm like, this is a real, real, real game. It's real treacherous. And some people don't have no morals about what they do. I could have been way further than what I was if I just didn't care and had morals, man. But that's some of the craziest things I've seen in the game. Peace and blessings. Big five.